Hi, welcome back to the studio of Art by Wendy. Today, I have something for you to draw that's really going to help you become looser and more confident in your pen work. But before we start, I just want to remind you that I will still be offering my online drawing classes. I like to do them as an in-person Zoom. It'll be this October, a series of three, and next February, a series of three. So that's February 2025, October 2024. Now, let's get started. Today, I want to talk to you about leaves and stems. In my last video, I did drawing flowers. And so now we need to bring them alive and just look at some of the things you can do. If you have a few little stems, leaves added to your flowers. I think it's really cool. They can be realistic, but they can also be a little more stylistic, a little more graphic and still provide lots of fun in your drawings. So today, let's get started. I've already drawn a flower and a few buds. And now we're going to learn how to turn them into an interesting design with leaves. You need a putty eraser, a zero five pen, and a pencil to do some light layout. So to start with, I would do a light sketching of where I could put some leaves, where it would fit nice. And I like to have them a little bit intertwined. So some are behind, some things in front. And remember, those leaves are not flat. We're looking at them sideways. So make them kind of dipped and curled, curl some edges, do some little things. Just things need to be similar, but they do not need to be exact. Once you have your leaves organized, then try, put some shadows or some kind of patterning on them. Now for some fun stuff. Add a few other kinds of leaves and branches. Put, I use my pencil to kind of put in some lines indicating where I would like some more action in my picture. And then after that, I start adding some little twigs, some little branches, and don't forget to turn your book so that you can have things going in very favorable directions. It's easier to keep your pattern going. Once I get going on adding these little extra frills and decorations, I'm beginning to think about the values of each of the items on my drawing. My flowers are white, and so I need other things to be mid-values and darker in order to give it some depth and some punch. Those little blobs that I put at the bottom there, there are some nice little things to just break things up and add a few darks to, this, to the story. My little twigs and branches, if you notice, they're leaves of various sizes to have that variety. Now I'm adding a bit of shading on the stem and you can see right away it pops the flowers and makes them stand out in your arrangement. Once I got this far, I could see I still needed a little bit more, so I added just a few more of these little twiggy things at the bottom. I find them kind of a, a nice little space filler, and they kind of help to spread out your composition and not have it too clustered. I decided I still needed some more darks, so I'm now darkening that little twig to give me some more depth. Go ahead. Add some leaves and stems to some of your flowers from my last video and get them popping. Wendy teaches outdoor sketching classes in the summer and she teaches in her studio and online throughout the year. Wendy produces original work in pencil and in watercolor. She completes commission work, particularly pet portraits, and produces cards and prints from some of her work. 